So please take a moment, go back to the time you were 14 years old. If you didn't live in Switzerland, imagine you do. <laughs> you are facing your big first career decision and you have no clue what to do. Your parents have their own view what you should do. Your friends maybe go to high school. Your teacher tell you you are suited to be an electrician and you just really don't know what to do. And on top of all of that, the information that is provided out there just doesn't suit your needs, how you retrieve information. And the decision has real consequences if you get it wrong. And this is exactly the situation Noel is in. This is Noel. Noel is 14 years old in, second, in secondary school and his parents are engineer and carpenter and he now has to make a decision about his career. He has to decide, does he want to do an apprenticeship? Does he want to go to high school? If an apprenticeship, which apprenticeship? And all that while having a life. With all the opinions around him, from his parents, from his friends, and also from all the various websites he is consulting, he is overwhelmed. He is lost. And what he wants to actually do is play Roblox. <laughs> because Roblox is fun. It is interactive. It is engaging. And it is personalized. He can make his own characters. He can do whatever he wants. So this is not just a problem of Noel. Noel is not a unique case. A lot of kids in Switzerland, a lot of teenagers in Switzerland are impacted by this. Age groups from 13 to 18 all have to take this decision. And looking at the statistics, studies show that on average, 24% of the apprenticeship jobs have dropouts, like 24% drop out actually, which shows we need better guidance for careers. Introducing Career Companion. Career Companion is a platform that has two parts. The first part is for the younger age group, age group 12 to 14 years, and that is the more gamified approach to discovering new professions. So here you can go in a village, discover a few things, just like in Roblox, but you will be confronted with a few questions where you can like, decide which direction you want to go and what you want to do. The second part is a chatbot. So this is for more the older audience, which doesn't want the gamified approach, but still needs more than just the information in a clear and simple way, which we also would provide as a third option. They can then chat with the chatbot and say, these are my interests, and I'm thinking of this. What do you think? What are the disadvantages? What is great about this job? What, what could be the challenges? And with that, we can help Noel and his friends to make better decisions. But how does this actually look like for Noel? So imagine he's on his mobile phone and sees this screen. With the joystick on the bottom left, he can move the avatar around this environment. And suddenly, a question pops up. What are you most interested in? The things you can see here are tailored for Noel. It's something he can relate to. It's something he understands. We don't ask him, do you want to be an ele electrician or a biologist? He doesn't know what they do. After making a decision, we can draw conclusions from that. We can map the preferences he chooses to all the various apprenticeships and degrees. After some questions, we can then start make recommendations on specific apprenticeships, specific degrees. Here we have an example of a carpenter. What you can see here is that there is an actual representation of a personality and Noel can chat with, in this case, Michael, or at least a representation of him. He can ask him, what do you like about, about your job? But also, what do you hate about it? Which is often not represented of in informations we see currently. Now you might ask yourself, how do we do this matching the preferences and things? I hate to break it to you, it's not AI. It's really just a deterministic algorithm matching options to recommendations. So how does the journey for Noel look like? First, he starts exploring 
the environment. Then he is prompted with questions where we individualize the information and the recommendations for him. He can dig deeper through the chats, through natural language, into the professions. And lastly, on top of that, we can really provide the value by enabling him to participate in local trial days in companies that actually offer an apprenticeship in this section. So how do we get all this information about all the apprenticeships, about all the jobs? We will partner with Swiss Skills and Swiss universities to provide that and also have an impartial opinion. With that, um, you also need a way to get the students to actually use it, right? Our idea is to do that via the schools, through the inter infrastructures that already exist. There are already career classes, and you could give the kids time to actually solve it, do the game, do the chatbot, and um, learn it also through the apps we already have in Switzerland. So overall, with this platform, with Career Companion, we can guide kids like Noel towards their dreams and give them some guidance, give them some path, and yeah, guide and not decide. Thank you. Thank you so much for that entertaining presentation. And may I call the rest of the team up on stage? So I'm happy to see you all up here. Um, I have to say I had a lot of fun working with uh, you as a team. Um, you were all very dedicated, very enthusiastic, lots of energy was there. Um, some of you being very pragmatic and coming very soon straight to the point, having quite a good idea uh, how to realize it. And some of the team are quite elaborate in terms of, you know, thinking about all kinds of aspects, how to secure impartiality, um, how young people can be reached, um, uh, also, you know, how should information really pre be presented in an attractive and informative way. So there was interesting debates in the team and there was always, as I said, a lot of good energy. So I very much enjoyed it. And as I uh, suspected, you definitely surprised me. It's also aesthetically a really brilliant presentation. So very nicely done. And um, of course, you could rely on the different skills you had in the team, including the strong informatics skills to realize that presentation with everything behind it in such a short time. So thank you very much. <laughs> Now we have a few minutes left for questions to the team. Yes. <laughs> All right, so I have a question. When you click through and you get to a job and you want to find out more about that job, you can chat to a person. That's a feature of your app. How do you ensure that this person is representative of the job and how do you how do you get them to participate in the first place? Have you thought about this already? Yes, so that's a really good question. And the solution that we came up with for this one is that we can collaborate with SwissSkills as a key partner. And now you just saw one person which would be the competitor in the national team. He has lots of media representation and those videos already exist. But maybe his information is not representative. So in this case, we can partner up with SwissSkills to not only take the winner of the Swiss skills, but all the finalists to really have a broader representation. Some are in large enterprises, some are in small companies, some really like to do this, other like to do that. And with this, we can get a more broad approach on the profession. That's spot on, thank you very much. Any more questions? <laughs> um, yes, it's still about the chat with a professional. Let's say this website succeeds, in has, it finds a massive success. success, success. Um, if there's a lot of people interested in chatting with a professional in a certain job, how do, you, how do you make sure that he answers to all of them? 
how does anyone, everyone gets answers? Like if 20,000 people ask a guy from Microsoft, what, what, how would, how would, how would it be handled? So for this one, maybe I was not clear enough. It's just a representation of Michael. It's not actually him. We can feed the information. Basically, we just make a survey with the competitors and feed this information into the system. And then the chat responds itself through AI, obviously, as all the other <laughs> ideas as well. There was one more question. were not that successful in their apprenticeship, will you also include them so that also the, uh, these uh, young people get some negative information? Yeah. Have you uh, thought about this? Honestly, the, the yeah. The disadvantage of a certain profession. Mm -hmm. We wanted to represent the profession as a whole. We don't just want to show the greatest of the profession. So we would include many different people, also the finalists that didn't go forward or many other people that work with them, maybe with the people that are already at Swiss Skills and want to participate. So we want to have all the opinions and we also want to make sure that the teenager makes the right decision on not just the decision that's the most appealing, right? So that's why, yeah, we would include them. I see there's more questions, but we are running out of time for this team. So we are all here. <laughs> maybe it can be approached afterwards. Thank you so much again for a wonderful <laughs> performance. Thank you. Yeah, yeah.